Interior Secretary Mar Rojas and Food Security Czar Secretary Kiko Pangilinan will inspect today the Pure Feeds warehouses in Malolos, Bulacan, which was earlier raided by the PNP CIDG for illegally hoarding NFA rice. George Cahiles keeps us posted. He is reporting to us from Bulacan. Hi, George. Go ahead. Hi, we're now here inside the warehouse of Pure Feeds Corporation inside the uh, the inside this uh, one uh, compound here in the Barangay Tikay in Malolo City. And authorities discovered thousands of bags of broken rice residue that are allegedly being mixed with imported Thai rice and are being distributed to the market. Now, my the problem is the Joint Criminal Investigation and Detection Group and National Food Authority Task Force says these broken rice residue imported from Vietnam are used as ingredients for animal feeds and are not fit for human consumption. Interior Secretary Maroha says the bags of rice with broken rice residue are being sold in the market under the name Senior Rice Sinandoming. As of now, authorities held uh, more than 32,000 bags of rice found inside a warehouse of Pure Feeds Corporation. And now, my aside from uh, that, the authorities discovered several violations, including violations to uh, the BIR, the Bureau of Customs, the Bureau of Animal Industry, and the National uh, Food Authority uh, rules. And now, according to Secretary Rojas, they're still investigating as to uh, uh, the uh, violations, other violations that may have been committed by the company. And as of now, my since Thursday, the Joint Task Force of the NFA and the CIDG have already checked or uh, inspected 18 warehouses here in Luzon. And as of now, 14 of those warehouses were uh, uh, passed the uh, inspection, while four others were seen with violations. And as of now, 225,000 bags were inspected, and 80,000 of, uh, 80, of which are uh, questionable and now uh, being investigated by the Joint Task Force. Right? George, how big is this Pure Feeds Corporation, and who's the owner? Has the owner been identified? Now, this is a huge warehouse. I cannot uh, uh, exactly tell you the dimension of this warehouse. But according to its owner, Mr. Giorgio Suleiman, uh, he denied the allegations. And in fact, they are into this business of, uh, of uh, animal feed distribution as well. So he is saying that the accusations of the NFA CIDG task force is false because they have uh, uh, correct papers to support their claims, and uh, they, they pay their taxes. At the same time, they declare to the Bureau of Customs everything that they import from uh, Vietnam, so as in Thailand. Mm -hmm. right? George, what is the next course of action for the DTI and for Secretary Kiko Pangilinan? According to them, what needs to be done to aggressively curb uh, incidents of hoarding? Okay. We already talked to uh, the administrator of the NFA earlier, Mr. Uh, Arthur Yuan, and he told us that they will create a group that will uh, make an inventory of all the NFA rice in Luzon, particularly in Bulacan and Pampanga. And now, if they see that there is uh, a connivance between their personnel as well as with uh, public or, uh, I mean, private companies, they will uh, file charges against their uh, employees at the same time, the private companies that are involved in this uh, kind of activities. But as of now, he will order this uh, thorough investigation as of the moment and inventory of their rights. Right? All right. Thanks, George. George Cahiles there reporting to us on the government's efforts to curb rice hoarding, starting with that warehouse that was just raided in Bulacan.